the hindi mainstream does not engage me at all okay so i prefer watching malayalam and tamil movies more this interview was a master class from why bollywood is failing why so many remakes and triple r for oscars it was just an information overload let's break it down hello guys i'm nona prince and yet again bardwaj dangan is back with a great interview with anurag kashyap this time if you haven't seen do check it out on galata plus people in power in bollywood should listen to this interview on loop but they wouldn't because he's an outsider and is not really backed by a lot of money at the box office so what Whatever he says doesn't really matter to people, but it matters to us. So the first thing, why Bollywood is failing? Down south, filmmakers are coming in from all directions, all walks of life, all cultures. Here, cinema is largely controlled by those people, and that to second generation that has grown up in trial rooms. Right. They have not lived life, so the referencing is based on cinema. So what is not on screen can't be cinema to them. The biggest problem with YRF. is that trial room effect i just love the fact how casual he was in this interview he just took the names of yrf dharma what's happening the trial room effect people making movies people behind the scenes if they don't know what's happening in the country how can they replicate that in a film the filmmakers are just out of touch of reality and their reference to make a movie is not the real world but the films they have seen themselves and that never works he also talks about how these big studios have control over how the film will be made if a new person is making a film they'll tell him what to do they'll not let the person make the film the way they want to and when asked you know what's the solution how can you fix bollywood he said just bring more outsiders bring more more people from different places you know come make movies let them tell their stories and i totally agree to that uh, cinema is the soft cultural ambassador of any country am i forgetting that what soft culture that are we propagating through hindi films they don't think our films don't represent us at all as when you see an rrr you understand okay this is telugu cinema they are larger than life and they'll be like this you see malayalam cinema you know it is malayalam cinema and this is what kerala is you can see through a film that how is educated their audiences what do we sit here and wonder or how why can't we do this in hindi you don't understand this you'll do what you do is remake a kerala film he raised a very valid point that in south filmmakers are coming from all parts of life they are grounded they know what's happening around them their films have an identity there's a flavor to them there's a cultural exchange and there are very few hindi films you know that you can say oh it's a bollywood film or it's a hindi film where you can see a culture where you can see nuances he also talked about the ott debate industry is controlled by trade people and things they only work on the how much a film earns ott these have destroyed the sales agent the middleman who were deciding which films should be made because that film will make money and because of ott that is just disrupted now the other thing he talked about you know why there are so many remakes happening is because everybody is uncertain and producers are scared right especially if the material has any kind of a political or i'm like i've written nine scripts in lockdown out of which one has found a taker the moment you root something it becomes political political is the moment you root a film in a culture then there's an identity given to a person politics begin there he wrote nine original scripts in the lockdown but only one of them have found a producer because people are scared to make those films and as he says when you root a film you know when you ground it when you bring identity to it it becomes political because cinema is a reflection of society if you show what's happening in the society people will not like it they will start getting offended and you know boycott it because those films will show the truth they want to have a safe bet so the only films they can make are either historicals or remakes because you know the story doesn't offend anyone we can remake it today or we can remake a south film literally why remakes is happening is because of the audience itself and i'm really happy that the south indian film industries you know have that luxury he shared how his producers suffered because he was associated with their films because he has a different political stand he is the critic of the authorities and it's very easy to take all of this out of context at the end he also said that he feels better i still get to have a choice and i still i'm making films there is not a single day i'm not working i have zero complaint there are a lot of filmmakers across the globe some of them are in the jail some of them cannot make movies at all so he feels way better that at least he can make films he can do what he loves he also talked about rrr which personally he didn't like that much he likes eega and bahubali way better but he talked about you know the us response and why it should be sent to oscars if rrr becomes an india selection 99% this might get nominated for the academy award 99% that's the impact rrr has had in the world of hollywood 99% is a big thing and remember anurag kashyap himself is in the oscar committee he votes for these films he is the most connected filmmaker across the globe he goes to all film festivals he's a big name outside india and if he is saying that it means something and hopefully 
you know, we sent Triple R. He also talked about that the stardom is changing. It's going away. Now a film will not just work because of a big star. You have to have a good script. There's no more all left for stars. To see, social media has empowered people. All used to happen because you could not reach them. Right. You only saw them on screen. Now you can go and shit on them. That wonder is gone. And that wonder has now come for Hard Fazil. So the two actors that people still don't know names of, but who are big stars, is Rocky Bhai and Pushpa Raj. And that's absolutely right. Social media has changed things. It has empowered people. And everything can be used for good and the bad. It all depends on how you want to use this platform. For criticism and to make your voice heard. Or for trolling and harassment. There was a lot in the interview to be unpacked. If you want, you can check out my reaction to the whole interview. He even talked about how Zoya Akhtar, after Gully Boy, which was a big hit in the US, got multiple projects from Hollywood, but she declined all of them. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.